2022, I did not come to play games. Hey dolls, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new. Today I'm actually recording a video that I've wanted to do for ages. I've seen so many people doing it and I'm like, I really want to do it. So it's answering your assumptions about me, answering your assumptions about me, your assumptions of me answered, I don't know, something like that. Anyway, I basically put on Instagram, if you don't follow me, this is my Instagram. Um, I put on Instagram, what do you guys think of me? Like, what's your assumptions? I'm going to do a video on it. And you guys did not disappoint, okay? You've... <laughs> You have assumptions, okay? You have assumptions, and I'm gonna answer that right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Before I start, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because I think like 70% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed, so make sure you do that. And let's get on with it, let's answer them. By the way, the outfit today is very bright. I'm wearing like neon green trousers and this coat. I just had my booster back, so I had to pick an outfit on. I had to pick an outfit and then just run out the door. Right, the first one. You're a Taui fan and obsessed with them lame brain mush reality TV shows. P.S. Love ya. I used to be so obsessed with Taui, okay? Like when it first came out, I loved Taui so much. Geordie Shore used to love that. What was the other one? The Valleys. I watched that. I literally love like all them kind of reality TV shows. I do love them. I think they're easy watching. I used to actually do a bit of Taui extra work as well. If you don't know that about, don't know that about me, um, I've done a bit of Taui extra work here and there when I was younger, like eighteen to like twenty one, I guess, on and off. So that was fun. I've done a few TikToks about it as well, like ages ago, like literally ages ago. If you want to watch them, I don't really watch it anymore. Even though like if the old episodes come on, I will sit there and watch them. Or like I think in lockdown, I watched the whole of the old seasons, like from. Zero, like from zero, from one to ten of Taui I watched. Taui was like my favourite reality TV show, and sometimes I do watch the occasional episode, but nah, I'm not really into it anymore. I used to love it though, the old cast with Joey Essex and that, love. Down to earth, very friendly and confident and beautiful girl. Thank you so much. Um, I find it really awkward asking that. Down to earth, I, I suppose I am, like I'm quite a genuine person, I wanna be, I feel like I am, ah. I don't know, I feel like that's for other people to figure out. No, I don't know. But I am genuine, like I'm not fake. Um, I'm pretty real, like my bed pillows aren't even plumped in this video, but whatever. You used to hate your size, but you've grown to love it and embrace it. That is very true. I felt for ages I didn't like the way I looked and I felt really horrible in myself and my size. And just gradually, like by watching like plus size content, grit. By watching like plus size concrete, concrete, I can't talk. By watching like plus size content creators and following them on Instagram and watching their YouTube videos, it kind of gave me a bit more confidence as well. And then gradually over time, I just like got loads of confidence, well not loads, I've got a decent amount of confidence now and I just enjoy wearing what I want to wear and like I don't really figure think about my body, I think about the clothes rather than what they're gonna look like on my body, if that makes sense. So yeah, no, I feel like my confidence has grown and I do feel happy in my body now. This one, I got so many times, like what? Okay, so it says your parents are rich, um, no. <laughs> that's so funny to me um, I grew up mum was a single parent so he was on benefits for like most of my childhood growing up um, met my stepdad he works full time so yeah he's got his own business so he's okay but we're not like rich like I don't have much money lol um, I work full time I've spoke about this before I work full time all my like brothers and sisters will work full time and um, we will pay like rent to live here so yeah um, no I'm not rich would be nice but no I'm, I'm not rich I'm just like have written maybe i don't know i don't know what's i don't know i'm just i'm not rich no <laughs> i think that's funny but i'm not i'm not rich it would be nice but no um you're really funny love your reels please don't change thank you so much um i i don't know i don't see myself as funny i never see myself as funny i feel like when you're i don't know like when you're funny you don't see yourself as funny i don't know but i don't know i'm not really funny i don't think but it's hard to tell am i i don't know <laughs> Please don't change. I probably won't. I'm, I've been like this probably since I was like two. I leave a picture on screen now of me and my. I literally look exactly the same. Is your hair coloured or natural? So my hair is naturally kind of like strawberry blonde auburn. I'll leave a picture on screen. At the moment it's kind of blonde, but it is natural because I. Well, basically I went for a phase last year like dyeing it kind of dark colours, like dark um, red. It was brown, and then I had it all stripped out, and then I had a ginger toner put on it, and I think I had it stripped out, and then a ginger toner put on it. The ginger toner's washed off, and this. Is what's left underneath i haven't got any dye on it so i guess it's kind of my natural but then i've also got roots coming through which are a bit darker and i might go and get some highlights so oh, i don't really know if this is my natural i don't think it is my natural is kind of an auburn as I said i'll leave it on the screen for you guys to see but this is kind of like a blondie gingery strawberry blonde honey blonde oh, i don't even know and my roots are kind of dark 
but I, I do like the colour of it at the moment. I prefer being fair to dark hair. Let me know in the comments what you prefer on me, but I, I think I prefer like lighter hair than dark hair. I feel like when I have dark hair on, I always have to have makeup on. Like I feel more confident when I have makeup on than when I have dark hair because I feel like if I don't, I look really pale and like washed out. But I feel like the light hair, just if I have no makeup on, it just looks nice anyway, you know? My skin like suits light hair because I'm ginger, like I'm fair, I'm really quite pale. So yeah, I feel like that would suit me better. Okay, this one, you like the classics, music and movies. So classics, as I don't like classical music, if that's what you're referring to, but I know what you mean by like classics. So you're talking about like classic bands like Oasis, Stone Roses, things like that, or like, I don't know, are you? Because I do like them. I don't know if that's kind of referring to that because I do like them. And classical movies like Mary Poppins. Is that a classical music movie? I'm classing Mary Poppins as a classical music movie. That if I'm classing Mary Poppins as a classical movie, I, I like Mary Poppins. I like Harry Potter. <laughs> that's a classical movie, I guess. I like Back to the Future. That's a good one. Goonies is good. I, I don't know, Breakfast Club, like, I like them films, so I guess I do like classic movies, I suppose they are classic movies, aren't they? Like, they are like movie movies, do you know what I mean? I don't know if I'm even talking straight right now, but do you know what I mean? Like, I like movie movies, oh my god, I've got my Covid thing on the back of the phone, just ignore that. My battery is like flashing already, are you taking the mic? Okay, the next assumption is that I'm a normal girl, and I guess so, like I've just come from a normal background, like, as I said, mum, growing up, my mum just had me as a single mum and then we moved in with my stepdad, so yeah, I suppose I'm normal. I've lived in quite a lot, lot of, uh, I can't talk. I worked out that I've lived in 18 places in my 24 years of life. So quite a lot of places. So that's something about me. I don't know if that's even interesting. But yeah, I'm quite normal. Like, I work a, like, I work a normal job. I don't work a 9 to 5, I work night shifts, but I work a full-time job. I like spending time with my family and friends. I don't know what makes you normal, uh, really. I don't... Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just um, an ordinary girl. Um, cringe. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. <laughs> You're very down to earth, normal, get along with most people. Um, I think that's pretty much true. I do get along with most people. Like, obviously, if I've got a problem with someone or if I don't like the way someone is, then I won't have. I don't have to get along with them. I feel like in this life, it's really hard to learn that lot. Not everyone likes you, and you're not gonna like everyone, which is just fair. Like, this, if everyone liked each other, like. I don't know, you just will never like everyone you meet and no one will ever, like some people will, no one will ever like you, that's a bit rude. I mean, not everyone will like you. Like, once you accept that, you know, you can just get on with your life, but not everyone likes you. You're not everyone's cup of tea, which is fine. Like, I'm fine with that, whatever. <laughs> it is what it is, they're lost, no, I'm joking. <laughs> but I do get along with most people, so yeah. Um, you're quick to call out haters. So I was, okay, I was very quick to like reply to all of my trolling comments and do like little response videos and stuff like that. And I'm trying my hardest not to react and just to play it cool. Like I haven't even seen it, like I'm not bothered. Because it's just like you're supposed to not be bothered, okay? And I get that, but sometimes it does bother you a little bit. So I do sometimes reply, even though I'm not supposed to, but whatever. <laughs> I try not to call them out. I try not to because I don't want to like fuel the fire. I don't like fighting hate with hate. So I just, I try not to. I do try not to, but sometimes, you know, I just, I just do it. And then my friends are like, you should not have done that. But I don't know. Sometimes I do call out the haters. Oops. Oh, well, let the haters hate. You're really confident in person. Um, do you know what? I don't actually know if I am. Like I find myself kind of awkward a lot of the time. Like, I'm quite an awkward person. Like, I feel like I've got less awkward. But, like, if I'm out in public taking Instagram photos now, I'm kind of awkward. I'm not confident. I'm not like, oh, look at me. I'm more like, oh, I don't know. I'm awkward. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of awkward like that. So, I'm not 100% confident. But if I meet people in public, I'm like, hey, how are you? Like, I'm fine like that. It's like other things that I'm a bit awkward about. Like, waiting at the bus stop. Oh, I find it so awkward. I'm not confident like that. I'm fine, like, on phone calls and stuff. Like, if my friends need phone calls, I always take them or like i was at, out with my friend at kfc or something and they wanted to straw and i was like i'll go get you a straw like i don't care about that like i'm confident like that but like taking photos in public find that really awkward find other little random things awkward okay but overall i'm pretty confident and um, throw me into a room though with loads of older men and i find it really awkward like family gatherings and stuff i find very awkward a lot of the time until i've had a few wines then i'm okay outgoing confident strong a beautiful genuine person oh my god thank you so much outgoing again i'm pretty i'm pretty outgoing i'd say i i like to I, what's that 
outgoing even mean? Alexa, what does outgoing mean? Outgoing is usually defined as trending positive, upward movement, ascension or... That's not what I said, love. Deception. Alexa, what does outgoing mean? As an adjective, outgoing is usually defined as going out. As a noun, outgoing is usually defined as expenses. Well, I'm not on outgoing expense, <laughs> but I am like outgoing as in like, I'll, I will like go out and see friends, go out and do stuff a lot. Like I don't like to be in a home a lot. I like to go out and do things. I'm like, I've pushed myself out of my comfort zone quite a bit. Um, and that's how I've got to where I am today. Like, obviously I'm not, I don't know how I'm saying this really cringe, but like, I keep, if you just, I just keep pushing myself and pushing myself. I guess I am a bit outgoing. I am. I like to do new things. I, I lived abroad. I lived in France and Holland, so I guess I'm a bit outgoing because I've decided to do that. And I've moved, yeah. I guess I am outgoing. I was just going to say yes because I'm waffling. Warm, kind, and lovely person. I think I am. I don't want to be like to my own trumpet oh why did I do that I, I guess I am I'm kind of nice I'm I'm nice until you cross me I guess like a lot of people are yeah I won't ever be like mean to people for no reason I'm only I'm yeah I'm happy I'm nice I'm pretty chill I'm kind of lovely <laughs> your favorite drink is a porn star martini do you know what it actually is not it is not a porn star martini and do you know why I used to love porn star martinis, right? I used to drink them loads. Every time I had cocktails, I used to get them. Then I went to a cocktail bottomless brunch, right? And I drank about 12 in an hour. I felt so ill and I just can't drink them. So I haven't had one in about a year now because I just can't drink a porn star martini again. It made me so like, what's it called? Indigestion, like sick or oh, horrible. That mixed with the fry up I got the bottomless brunch, not good. I will never eat, eat. <laughs> I'll never porn. <laughs> I'll never drink a porn star martini again. That you are a blast to be around, always a laugh. I mean, I try and be like, not try, like I am quite happy all the time. Like, not happy all the time, but I'm a half glass full kind of girl, you know? So I'm not, I'm quite, I don't go out if I'm feeling like crap, basically. If I'm feeling happy and that, I'll go out. And I try not to complain loads because I feel like complaining and like being sad just attracts more negative. That's my mindset at the moment. Since we work in for the past couple of years, I mean, I've always been kind of happy anyway. I've always been the happy girl friendship group. Is it because I'm fat? Who knows? I don't know if I'm fun to be around. I have to ask my friends that. Maybe I'll ask them on my Instagram or something. I'm really fun. Um, I, I'm kind of fun. I it's feel kind of weird answering these questions though because you're like, oh, do I want to answer this about myself? It's kind of big headed. I'm kind of fun in some aspects. Like if you take me to ice skating, I'll be like, no, I'm not fun. I'm not doing it. If you take me like, to a muddy field, I'd be like, no, go away. I went to Park Life, right, with some of my friends from work and my man like my manager and that we went to Park Life and it was raining and it was muddy. Um I left in an hour. I was like, nah, I ain't doing it. Goodbye, I'm leaving. I, I literally was not gonna stay in the field and, and in the mud with all the people like no, it was not a bit of me at all. I hated it. Um so I was not fun that day, but I guess it's just ma like what situation you put me in. If you put me in a cocktail bar I'm gonna be fun. If you put me up for a nice walk in the day, I'm fun. Like just generally fun. In a muddy field, no. Ice skating, no. Or thunderstorms, I don't like them. So maybe if there was a thunderstorm, I wouldn't be fun. That your natural reaction is to let trolls affect you, but you've learned to brush it off. That is true. I sometimes get lost in my comment section and I really should not read them. No matter how many times my friends and my family tell me not to read them, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do sit and read the troll comments and it's not like I want to read them, but it's like they're there and I know I can, like, do you know what I mean? So sometimes I do read them and sometimes they do affect me, like I won't lie. I try them to not make them affect me because, you know, but it's for when like, I had a video last week, get four million views, right? Four and a half million views and 14,000 people if you think about it it's not that many compared to like 4 million but 14,000 people comment on it being horrible to me right <laughs> so that's a lot uh and it just when you look at all the comments it does take a toll like no matter how many people say just brush it off whatever it does like i've learned to brush it off and whatever it is what it is these people are trolls they have no profile pictures they do it because they've got their own insecurities we wish them well okay because we don't want any bad karma so we wish them well whatever and you try not to let it affect you but it does um i recently had a youtuber with like seven million subscribers do a video about me i haven't watched it because i just can't bear to watch it i'm not gonna watch it it's just literally slay me for like 10 minutes lol to seven million of his audience so we love that so but yeah i haven't watched it because i don't want to 
see the comments i don't want to see that but like i just don't understand people that do it but yeah you don't give a fuck about what people think well i'm gonna have to believe that for one um and no at the moment i don't i literally went out like this i mean i think it's a pretty cool outfit but i literally don't i don't care because if you think about it right i'm talking about clothing aspect right now i'll talk about other situations in a sec but clothing aspect right i'm going out i'm gonna wear what i want people are more worried about what they're wearing than what you're wearing i promise you now people are more worried about what they're wearing on night out or in the day when you go to town or when you nip out to asda than what you're wearing and it really does change your mind like that no one cares if you're wearing a crop top and you've got a bit of fat hanging out your belly like no one cares no one's gonna look at you like no one's gonna be like staring at you like it literally doesn't happen if you just feel good in yourself and in your clothes that's absolutely perfect um yeah i don't really care what i think like my friends and my family like obviously i care about their opinions and people that are close to me but i don't care about that like out outside bubble because everyone has their own opinion and you just have to move because if every, if you were like everyone else then you would be do you know what i mean i don't really like everyone else just be like be your own person and be shepherd not sheep you know you talk really fast uh i don't know i feel like i'm slowing down now i might actually talk really fast i don't know do i i feel like i might do but then i talk so fast and then loads of rubbish comes out and waffle so I, I think I do talk really fast. If you think I talk really fast, then please drop a comment. To be fair, the videos I think are gonna fit, like take ages. They literally take me 20 minutes and I talk so fast. So maybe I need to slow down my speech. My, my drama teacher actually used to say to me like, you need to slow down your speech a bit. But one day he did like tie my shoelaces together and like made me stand in the middle of the classroom. <laughs> oh. That you are from Essex. I am from Essex. I lived in Essex. I can't even remember how long now, a while, I moved back and forth from Essex for a bit, um, I was born in Essex, I was born in Romford, I lived there, like, growing up, um, yeah, so I'm from Essex, my family still live there, I go there quite a lot to see, like, my family and my friends live in Essex, so, yeah, I do spend a bit of time there. I lived in Romford growing up and Shadow Heath, so, them ends, now my family live in, like, South End, so, that's where I spend my time now, and I go, 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 bubble, what? <laughs> Bubbly and a go getter at bubbly, <laughs> bubbly and a go getter attitude. Why did I say it in American accent? Bubbly and a go getter attitude. Okay, bubbly. I don't like the label bubbly. I don't like it because it just thinks, oh, fat girls are bubbly. Oh, I hate that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to whoever you are. Like, I'm sorry. Please don't take that as a disrespectful remark to, to your comments. But I just don't like the word bubbly. I guess I am. But I just don't like the word bubbly. I'd rather the word outgoing, confident, fun not bubbly because it's just like i hate that i don't like that term um a go get her attitude i guess i am like to be doing stuff and i was never like this before but i've just had a kick up the ass and i don't know what's like what's going on but i'm just like so eager to do things i really like putting plans in place and like doing them so like i put a plan in place and i try and execute it put a plan um, but then my brain's all mush and i've got so many plans and i need to like s do all of them what they called i just said it what's the word called execute i've got so many plans and i need to execute all of them so i'm trying so i'm gonna go get us like that like i'm trying to go get the stuff i want i guess i'm gonna go get her you've had lots of boyfriends ah, fun story i've probably 15 and last said i was like 16 and he's gay now so no i haven't had this i haven't been oh my god i can't talk I haven't had loads of boyfriends at all oh obviously i've like seen people date people you know but never had a boyfriend like serious boyfriend can you believe it i can i'm so like hyper though like i'm just not that kind of person to be in a relationship i ain't got time i'm so busy my brain is so like wow all the time i don't have time for that but i mean boys hit me up no joking i mean do but like no ah but yeah i have been single for a while and i just feel like every time i speak to someone it just ends in shit because i don't know I'm just not very, I'm really bad at replying to people and I'm really like, I get the yick very fast and my friends say just like push through it but I just can't, I just can't push through it once I've got it and I get it a lot with people and then I go on Tinder, download it and then I'm bored of it in like a couple of days and then I re-download it and speak to like, I just like swiping, I really find swiping on Tinder really fun and then I never actually message anyone and then I do message people and then I get bored of them in like a day, like it's actually so bad. I might actually be toxic. I just want to like bump into someone in the supermarket, you know, little by the like cheese. 
We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens in 2022. You must be the funniest person to have as a friend. I finish this by calling my brother because he might be able to tell me if I'm actually funny or not. He's probably gonna say no. I don't have any friends to call right now because it's 11 o'clock. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm just filming a YouTube video. Do you think I'm a funny person to have as a friend? I know you're my brother, but like none of my friends are awake right now. Do you think? You think I'm funny? Yeah, he certainly thinks I'm funny, don't ya? Yeah, <laughs> Thanks, bro. See you in a bit. <laughs> but that is all your assumptions about me answered. I hope you guys like this kind of video. I really enjoyed doing like the Q and A kind of vibe videos. I don't know. I think they're really fun. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell. It means you get a notification every time I upload. If you like the video, drop a like down below and comment and let me know if you've got any other assumptions about me or if you think I was wrong on any of them because. No, I can't be wrong on my own assumptions, right? <sighs> I'm talking so much rubbish now. Anyway, I'm going, guys. Love you. Bye.